Hello and welcome to this video where I will show you how you can make a pretty URL uh, with ASP.NET Core uh, and with Razor pages. So instead of that you have a URL with you know the percentage uh, icon and 20 uh, every time there is a space, uh, you will get a, a URL like this instead. And I will show you how you uh, get the the ID of uh, it could be an article uh, and the headline of the article or what you are going to to make. So I will just delete this. But uh, I already made all the code, so I will just show you how it works. So you don't have to watch me type everything. Um, and you can also go to my blog and you can copy and paste all the code I I use in this tutorial. I will link link it below. But yeah, let's get started. So this project is made in Visual Studio 2022. And it's this project is actually just a Razor page project, ASP.NET Core. Um, so when you create a new project, it should be this one. And you just click next. Um, and, and next again, it doesn't matter, it's, you can call it what you want. And I use the framework uh, .NET 6.0. It's the long-term supported uh, version. So, but I will not create it because I already have one. And to make it more simple, I can actually just delete these because we all we we only use these two links. Uh, it's just normal anchor tags uh, from HTML. And as you can see here, I link with the ASP page attribute i link to the uh, the articles um, folder i have over here inside pages i made this articles folder where we want to target the index file and this file is just a a eraser page so you make it by right click articles add say eraser page and then a empty eraser page and you give it a name and now i already made an index so but but you can call it what you want but if i go back to the front page not this one uh, we link to to this index in the articles folder so uh, we do it in in both links uh, link tags um, and i say i say this asp route uh, with an id and this is the variable that will be given to to this page so you can see i also have one called article so inside this article i actually this is actually the url that's going to be made so it will see okay we send an id and we send an article and with article i mean it's just the pretty uh, formatted URL that we're going to make. But I go back to the front page again, and you can see the ID, it comes from our model. Uh, and I made a, a, um, a article object uh, with an ID. So it will, it will get this, uh, it's actually just one. And I made a second article also, which is just two. Um, and then it also have this URL heading inside the article object. And the article object is this one. And again, I just made a new folder called model. And then I added an item. So if you right click and say add and not a controller, it should be new item. And then we make a class. And I just call this article.cs. And then you get an empty, uh, an empty file. But you can go to my web page again and just copy and paste the model. But the main things in this article is that we have an ID and we have a URL heading. So the idea with the URL heading is just that, you know, we have a heading. Uh, which is like this one in the article but the URL heading we just make manually and we 
can make it just as we want. Like you can see, we have spaces and we also have a dot, but everything inside that's, that is special characters or spaces, I just made them with a dash instead because Google wants that and everything with lowercase because then it's easy to read and uh, yeah, it's SEO friendly. And just a little heads up, if you just copy and paste the code, it will not work instantly because this key annotation is not, uh, yeah, it don't know what it is. So you have to include this uh, namespace, system component model data annotations. Uh, and if you just click, it had the red line under, you click it and you hit alt enter, and then it will suggest that you use this. So that should not be a problem. But uh, if I go back to the, the page here, you can see we have the link first article and second article. And now we should know what it's doing. It's linking to this page with the ID from, oh, of course, I need to show you the code behind from the front page. I made a property called first article and I have this object um, from our model. So again, you should just include it uh, up here with the namespace of model because then we can use everything inside this model directory. And then as the page is getting loaded, you can see I take the first article um, variable here and I make a new instance of our article model. So it knows all the yeah, values or properties. Um, and then I do the same with the second article here. And as you can see, I say the ID should be one for the first article, and it should have a URL heading like this. So instead of if the heading was first article, the browser would say uh, a percentage and 20, and that's not so pretty. So we just want to make our own URL. But yeah, the last page I will talk about is this pages uh, articles folder. Inside this article folder, I made an index. And this is the, the page that we will be linking to. So it's here you would have all your, your articles. Um, I just called it article. You can also call it blog, as I call it in, in my blog down here. I say block um, and then as I told before we get the ID and the article values from our uh, ASP link tag in the ASP route uh, in here the ASP route ID and ASP route article so if we try this out we should get a uh, a page with two links and when we click them we can come to each article with each value we made inside the code behind so i have this first article and second article and if we click the first article we will get this uh, url it's block slash first it's the first uh, id and then first article it was the url heading that we was making the website so when we know these things about how to make a url we can actually make a pretty complicated url if we want to um, since i made this article i i actually just made this for the website here the my blog um, but as you can see i also included a, a category so this was just you know static uh, like like we write block down here and then every article I make they, they have a, a category uh, and then I actually just put the category here so it would be like that if our article uh, model here it had a uh, it had like a category so if we add this we could say category and then go to the code behind and we say okay the first article have a category 
Oops. Category of uh, ASP net. Of course, it should be lowercase then. So we could also call this URL category. So we have it like like this, and then a pretty formatted category. Um, yeah, beside that. So if we go to the article and we say URL category, then we should be able to go to the uh, to the HTML file here, and we say copy and paste this, and we would say URL category, and then change this because this was the the variable we were sending, and if we just call it category, save this. This is wrong. URL category, and then go to the page we're linking to, and then we could say slash, and then category. And if I try this out. And let's try to click on the first article. You can see blog slash ASP.NET uh, and, and so on. So you also get the category included here. But yeah, I hope you learned something about the URL in ASP.NET Core with Razor Pages. And like and subscribe if you like the video. And have a nice day. Bye.